recently announced that they would be closing the uh, junction to some extent for around about a year. Well, that's a big tick. Uh, Yogurt uh, for another few days. This uh, yogurt making by Natterporn is going really well. Delicious. As a, not, I wouldn't say a serious coffee drinker, but as a, uh, I enjoy good coffee, especially uh, espresso and uh, uh, typically Americano. Sometimes in a day, I just fancy something sweet and a three-in-one by, uh, uh, by Makona. Uh, just sort of takes the edge off that, uh, that thought of having something really, really sweet. Uh, and it's satisfying. But lately, since they've changed their branding, they've also, I think, changed their recipe. The recipe's really changed. It's, um, it's not so strong, it's insipid. Well, I came here for a couple of bottles. Uh, oh dear, I uh, don't know whether they've got them here. Well, the psychology uh, of uh, putting a bakery at the beginning of a shop, uh, Big C do it very well. Uh, Tesco tend to do it too, uh, whereby the smell from the bakery encourages you to feel hungry and then you buy more food. The good thing about wearing a mask is you're not encouraged to buy food uh, because you can't smell. Well, you can't smell outside there, you can smell the mask. It's got a little charcoaly smell to it. The bakery, it's not eye-catching because there's not a lot of it there, but you can't smell the bakery, which is inside, but they're selling most of the bakery outside the front of the shop. Well, here in uh, Big C outside, KFC and uh, Hashiban, uh, and other restaurants that uh, are normally uh, quite busy, uh, outlets for uh, families to come and buy their food uh, for lunch after they've been to Big C. Uh, today, like every other day here in the lockdown, uh, it's only a takeaway service and behind me you can see the, the, the grab guys sat checking their apps, ch checking their delivery uh, uh, requests, waiting to pick up something from here to get it out uh, to, uh, to the families. How this will affect people in their, in their daily life, in their homes, uh, it, it's hard to say because there's not the, the cash. Uh, for the people who uh, are on the lower lower rung of uh, society, there's not the income. And it's that uh, portion of people who are being hit hardest. The people who've still got a job can turn over the cash. The people who've got uh, some savings, the people who've uh, got an alternative income, they can turn over some cash and live frugally but it's the poorer people that won't be able to contact these guys to bring them some food. Thanks for joining me again this week. It's been a pleasure as always to put some small clips together to show you some of the routine things that happen in my life. If you've just found this channel by chance, uh, please consider uh, hitting the subscribe button. You'll be notified in your inbox of new videos. Well, today's Sunday and uh, last night uh, there was a terrific downpour. Uh, the wet season has arrived. Uh, monsoon is on its way. Uh, you can possibly hear in the background some rumblings of thunder. Uh, there's a light patter of rain. Uh, it's going to be another thundery afternoon evening with a good downpour tonight for sure. Uh, it's cleared uh, the smog away and this morning uh, we, we woke up to a, a real good feeling. We, we have a saying in, in, in Thai, uh, uh, sod churn. Uh, it makes you feel fresh uh, when you can breathe the air that's cooler uh, and it's not so oppressive. Uh, sod churn. Um, you also feel chun jai. Uh, that's a, that's a, means roughly the same, but um, not quite. Amazing. Anyway, between Doisutep and here, there's a canal road that runs north to south, uh, taking water from the dams up country down to the farms down uh, south and joining the river ultimately. Um, there's a development 
going on at the uh, canal road near to our home here uh, at the Dongguan uh, intersection. It's the intersection of the Samung Road and the Canal Road. Last November they announced that they would be closing the uh, junction to some extent for around about a year, uh, November through to uh, October this year. Um, it's six months in and I thought I'd uh, take a flight and have a look at what's going on there. You can see much of the preparation of uh, the ironwork is being done uh, in little tents along the way there. Uh, there's a, a thump, 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 uh, five days, six days of a week, and there's a lot of soil redistribution uh, going on. Uh, but I think it's, uh, it's uh, quite a, a keen target to hit October to have this finished. Whilst there, um, I was quite interested to see the, uh, the market. Talad, Talad is, uh, is Thai for market, and Talad Nat is uh, the, uh, the schedule, uh, the meeting. Uh, Nat is uh, meeting, so therefore, uh, if you have a, an appointment, it's a, it's a Nat. So, this Talad Nat is on a Saturday, and also on a Wednesday. Oh, and also on a Monday. So therefore in between times there's another talent nap over there. And so therefore any time of the week, uh, around about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, you can go to a Talad Nat, depending on which one you want to go to. I was surprised the amount of people that were there. There's quite a few. It's interesting to see the amounts of motorbikes of crisscrossing across the road uh, in, in, in lots of uh, uh, scenes uh, in, in videos I've taken. Uh, you'll see this traffic uh, confusion, but everybody in Thailand just gets on fine. The traffic statistics aren't as really as bad as they could be, uh, bearing in mind how dangerous it uh, it all looks. Nice of Natapuan to do one of my favourites. It's a pescatarian favourite of mine. Kalpad uh, Saparot. When you put on, you put onion. After onion, go egg. When you stir egg. It's uh, not long, about half minute. You put rice on there. Hmm. In the pot, there will be rice, there will yellow powder, there turmeric, soy sauce, there She actually served that up with fresh uh, mango. Uh, the, the name of the mango is Mango Nam Dot Mai and uh, with a couple of scoops of homemade ice cream. What a fantastic dessert that was. Thank you so much for all my new subscribers. I am really chuffed. I am so happy that uh, so many people have decided to follow my channel. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I don't get up in the morning thinking, oh, how exciting, but it's interesting to see the amount of people that appreciate the uh, variety that uh, we can see here in Thailand and it's not just all about uh, visas and it's not all about beaches it's not all about bars it's not all about dancing girls it's about the culture it's about the beauty of Thailand thank you very much uh, for joining me on uh, the journeys through my days these mist covered mountains uh, at dire straits always comes in my ears um, whenever I look out in the morning after a good night's rain uh, you see this uh, level of uh, cloud going across the mountain uh, it's beautiful it's wonderful and today I uh, took this uh, video this this video is uh, round about uh, hour hour and a half long so and I've just shortened it down for to about a minute and you can see that the the weather system goes around the mountain and then also comes back because there's something else coming across the other way wonderful clouds that happen around here, all because of that mountain, it's a magnet, uh, it, it, it brings it all, um, it all happens just here. Right now, there's a, there's a weather system happening up on top of the mountain right now. Beautiful.
Don't forget to check the description below. You'll see some links to where this video was taken. And if you enjoy this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. As always, consider subscribing if you've not already and hit the bell. You'll be notified in your inbox of new videos being published. Please stay happy. Please stay safe. Until next time. Bye-bye.